different guys catching balls in that game. Is that just kind of a sign that maybe the depth's not exactly where you want it, but there's a lot of different options out there at that position? Yeah, yeah, no, it was nice to spread the ball around a little bit. I tell those guys, you, you can't, you'd have trouble focusing on one guy in our offense right now. That's the goal. The goal is to have a bunch of different guys out there that can, that can be weapons. So I thought we took a little bit of step forward that way uh, last Sunday night. Did you at any point in the game Sunday go, yeah, this is, this is kind of what we're supposed to look like from receiver depth, from playmaking ability, yeah. that type of thing? No, absolutely, I did. You know, I, I, uh, I told them a year ago, Austin P to now, I mean, I had trouble finding finding loafs. I mean, I was grading hard. Now I, I had about four hours sleep, so maybe I was seeing things when I was grading it. But it was uh, it was night and day difference from the effort and the intensity level, uh, and that's just because of the culture Coach Jones and, and us as a staff have built and older guys buying in. So yeah, that's what it was supposed to look like. Is it there yet? No, we got a long way to go. But you saw signs finally, some flashes. Zach, obviously receivers, you know, they want to come in and catch touchdowns and, and yeah. make good plays. But do you have to sell them when they come here? And about blocking, about you know making blocks and spring a Josh Smith for a big game, or like a few that happened on, on Sunday night. That's a great question. I, I think it, each guy is different. Um, I sell blocking on. Not only are we blocking for each other, blocking for running backs, but also it helps open up the pass game for you later down the road. You know, our goal is to, to come out and and, uh, and be physical with with the secondary, and and, and uh, that helps us throwing the ball. So it's selfishly you want to be physical and block because it helps you down the line as well. I know you guys work on a lot just on and I know it's a small sample size just one game this year but do you feel like you guys are, are better on the perimeter blocking this year? Yeah we're better. We're not where I want us to be yet but we're better. Yeah I think the kids are buying in and, and, and our style of offense with what we do up the middle side to side everything we we need to block so we can spit those those balls out there and, and have them go for more than a yard. So there's a lot of production obviously on Sunday night but Maybe not a lot of those kind of huge splash plays or, or a couple of them that you, you see sometimes. Was that? Is there anything the receivers could have done when you watch film to, to maybe make some of those more of those plays happen? Oh yeah, there's a lot of technique issues. We 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 had some uh, we had some chances at some at some big splash plays that you know again first game they went out there and kind of reverted back to some, maybe some old bad habits that I was disappointed in. Um, but uh, I thought we did a lot of good things too in the intermediate and short game. We got to work on that deep. That was actually our best thing during camp. It was our deep, deep ball and our, our splash plays, and that got lost a little bit uh, the other night. We had a big one that we had a penalty on with an illegal formation, uh, but we, yeah, we're definitely emphasizing that for sure. It seemed like Pink was extremely physical with defenders. Is that him, or is that something you're teaching those guys? Is that? What do you think, Dave? I don't know. He played a little running back in high school too, <laughs> so. I'd...